target I want to target this specific person that also matches this and also likes this and also like you know that used to work but that no longer works these days what is going on guys welcome to this video in which I'll be talking about Facebook Advantage shopping campaign what is it right how can you use it and why should you even care about it right as Advantage shopping campaign has been circulating the Facebook community for really the past couple of months right and so you want to understand what is it how do you set it up right and how can you use it to generate more purchases and more conversion for your business right and so that's exactly what i'm going to be talking about in this video i'm going to walk you through i'm going to go into an ad account and walk you through how to set up a facebook advantage shopping campaign correctly right in addition to that if you stick around to the end of the video i'm going to show you some of the results that this campaign has generated for some of the accounts that i manage and i'm telling you it's astronomical right and so first of all what is the facebook advantage shopping campaign right as you may have heard about it recently right so facebook advantage shopping campaign so it's a new product obviously that facebook has deployed right and so this is facebook way of moving towards more towards like artificial intelligence right leveraging as much of the artificial intelligence that it has to get better results for its client right for people for marketers like us for you right for business owners like you who use the platform right and another thing that you are, you know that you have seen you know headline in the internet is ai every massive corporation every big company is utilizing and is heavily leveraging ai within its product right and that's much of what facebook is now trying to do with this new with this new campaign strategy right and so just to give you a little more background about like facebook right so in the past you know what has worked with facebook no longer works at least not as efficiently as it used to work right so the way that people used to set up the facebook account back in the past it used to work for that specific, for that period of time right but facebook as you may already know the platform is constantly trying to the platform is constantly evolving right facebook is constantly improving its product right and so much of the strategy that you may have heard worked in the past no longer works today right because in the past people you know you could set up a facebook ad campaign just press go and you will start getting results right some people will get really granular with their targeting right they will target i want to target this specific person that also matches this and also likes this and also like you know that used to work but that no longer works these days right you cannot get super granular with your targeting and expect it to work as you know as much as it used to right and so a lot of reason why is because when you get really granular what you're targeting right because part of facebook main core core product is is really good at you know targeting who it is that you want to target for your business right and so when you get like super granular within the targeting criteria like you suffocate the pixel right the pixel runs out of audiences or prospect to go after and thus if you set up a campaign in this specific manner you may get some results for a short period of time but you'll see that over time you know it will start the, the performance will start decreasing within your account right and so that being said this is why facebook has rolled out this specific campaign right because facebook recently has been telling people right you know, use as much of it leverage as much of the artificial intelligence within the pl platform right meaning don't get too granular with the with the with the targeting right have an aggregated account structure you know get have your audience as broad as possible right? a lot of people don't do it and so i feel like facebook is not kind of forcing people with this new product that it's producing that is deploying to hey as you'll see here in this video you cannot target you cannot get super granular with your targeting in fact you cannot do any interest targeting it's really just one asset and it's like just broad you cannot do any interest targeting right that's a little bit about it. that's you know that's just in a nutshell of you know what has happened in the past in the past recent month and what is facebook doing right with the advantage shopping campaign so without further ado let's jump into this video let me show you how to set it up right and let me show you some of the results that it can generate for your business as well boom so we are in the ad account right and the first thing that you notice is that obviously as you're creating the campaign when you create that campaign you know it's your you know it's your standard you're going to see the specific um, criteria to where you set up your, your campaign objective right which is going to be sales if you're doing let me first let me say this the advantage shopping campaign is not for legion right it's for shopping right so if you're a legion if your business relies on legion to generate uh, you know to generate performance or conversions or revenue then you know advantage shopping campaign is not for you right at least they haven't rolled out something for lead generation right so this is mainly for e-commerce right so sales as you're setting the campaign objective so watch this boom now you're shown with this specific you know with this specific option right you're presented with this option choose a campaign setup right and so you'll notice over here advantage shopping campaign right exactly what we're talking about right 
So this is that, obviously that's what you want to select. Click Event to Shopping Campaign and then continue on to the next one. Okay, boom. Okay, so obviously now we're here, right? So per usual, you just want to obviously set up the name, right? So Event to Shopping Campaign, however you want to call it. Set up the name for that, right? And you have two options over here. Website, so you can either drive traffic to a specific website or you can drive traffic to the website. You can drive traffic to your website and in addition to an app, right? So we're just gonna focus on just the website aspect, right? So if you scroll down, you wanna select the country to, you obviously select the country and where you wanna, you wanna target. It's gonna be the United States. Boom. And that's it. What you'll notice is that's all you can set up. There's no interest targeting, right? You cannot target any specific interest with over here. That's all you can really set up. That you notice that there's no interest targeting, right? And another thing that you can do, what another thing that you can do, obviously you could you could select a specific, you know, if you have like an email list of periods of people have purchased your, your your product, right? You can upload that here as well because what the advantage shopping campaign does is that it leverages both prospecting for new customers and retargeting to as well, right? And so Obviously, for retargeting, you want to help it out with providing like your previous customers or essentially people who have purchased your product by providing them with an email list, right? <clears throat> and then over here, you set your budget. And one thing to note about this is that with any of the Facebook product, if you don't give it sufficient budget, it's not going to perform very well. And this is going to take a really long time for it to perform, right? So you always want to make sure that you're giving it sufficient budget, right? <clears throat> And then another thing that you that you notice is that existing customer cap, right? So essentially, let's read what it said. Set a maximum budget percentage to spend on your existing customer, right? As I was just talking about, because it's also leverages retargeting. We like to spend less than the percentage you've set, but we aim no more, right? So I want to say I want to spend, you know, fifteen percent of my budget on remarketing. Boom, fifteen percent. That's it, right? And then. Go on to the next thing. I would, you know, my uh, attribution one is always going to be like a seven day click, one day view, right? And so, what you also notice that for this specific brand that we're, sh for this specific brand that we're working with is that you can import. So, it, it shows you some of the ads that you already have in the account, right? Of had in the account, you can import that and leverage it in the specific campaign type, right? So, we can go ahead and leverage all of it. We can go ahead and import all of this. Import 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 into the specific campaign i'm gonna just import all of them right cool so now we can see all these ads that we can use for the specific campaign right obviously you just kind of want to make sure that you're not you know they're they're not duplicated right you don't have two of the same ad running at the same time that's the one thing that you want to set up because i know i was clicking a bunch of the buttons over here right so that's the one main thing that you want to just double check and make sure that they're not duplicated right and so let's go on to the next step we've imported all of that or you could have imported all of them at the one time so let's go on to the next step all right as you get over here you'll notice that we have already imported all of our ads right so there's not unless you want to change them over here then you don't really need to do anything else right it's really really simple to set up if you, unless you want to change them then you can come over here and change the headline the description or the url where you want to send the traffic to right so you can do this for all of these ads but we're not going to do any of that because these campaigns these ads have already been pre-built in other campaigns that we're running right so there's not much to really change on there right so it gives facebook sufficient ads to be able to rotate and to work with to get us the best performance that we can that that we need right so, and so you can just kind of go through the list of the ads that you know that are in here that you've you know obviously that you've previously ran or that you are still running in some of the other campaigns within the account, right? So again, that's really it. And then the next thing that you really want to do is obviously you want to make sure that you have the, your UTM parameter set into place, right? You want to make sure that you select the right pixel, you know, things of that essence, and the URL. You want to make sure that the URL is correct to the landing page that you want to send it to, right? And after that, you just click publish. You'll notice that this it's not a whole lot of work setting this campaign up. It's, you know, Facebook has, have tried to streamline this process as much as possible, making it super easy for really for anybody to use their product, right? As they want more and more people to advertise 
on the platform because a, a lot of reason why people don't use Facebook is because like, oh, they say that it's too hard to set up, it's too hard, the interface is very difficult, right? And so this is another reason why Facebook has rolled out this specific event shopping campaign, right? The process is just really streamlined, right? It's very similar to if you, you know, if you know anything about like, you know, Google, Google Ads, it's very similar to performance market, performance, ad, uh, performance max. Right? It's a very similar thing, right? They streamline this process as much as possible and making it super easy to deploy it at deploy a campaign, right? So after you're done with this step, all you have to do is publish and boom, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're, gonna, you're set, right? Now we're not gonna publish it for this, you know, this is just an example. We're not gonna publish it for this specific account. But let me show you an account in which we're heavily leveraging advantage shopping campaign. And let me just show you some of the results. Since we have deployed it, since the deception you know, the results that it has generated for us. <clears throat> and boom, over here, so if we look at month to date, April 1st to 30th, right? And then we look at these, all these campaigns, right? So one thing that you'll notice is that ASC, you know, short for advantage shopping campaign, that's the campaign type. So we have one, two, three ASC campaign, right? Three advantage shopping campaign, and we also have a fourth one over here, right? So we have four of them. Let's just look at the results of them, right? First, we wanna look at, you know, how much we're spending on the advantage shopping campaign, right? And then we'll look at the results. So if you look at the first one, you know, we haven't spent too much on this specific one, right? Because we're just testing new assets within this specific advantage shopping campaign, right? Again, that's really all you can do in terms of testing, is just testing new assets, right? Remember, you can't control the audience that you're targeting, right? So there's no specific audience targeting this one. You just have one asset, which is where it's just broad, right? No detailed targeting of this. So like the only thing you can really test is the is the ads, right? And so that's why we have multiple event shopping campaign here, which we're just testing different ads, right? If you look at this one, we spent $300, right? This month, not a whole lot. We've generated six purchases, right? Let's look at the performance. So let's look at the ROAS. So the ROAS for this one is uh, you know 136%, right? 1.36. Let's look at the next one below that. So if, you, if you look at this one, you know, this is another advantage shopping campaign, right? This one is heavily just leveraging like catalogs, right? And so we've got 73 purchases from this one. How much we've spent? $1,395.88 month to date, right? And so let's look at the ROAS. The ROAS is at a 371%, right? 371% ROAS. Like that's, whoa, that's good. Pre prior to Advantage Shopping Campaign, you know, it was, it was a little difficult for this account. I'm not gonna show you what the specific product is, but it was a very difficult sell, right? But then since implementing Advantage Shopping Campaign, we just see that it's generating, a, you know, a, a good return, right? Advantage Shopping Campaign. So let's, let's just look at another one, Advantage Shopping Campaign over here, right? Now this one is both leveraging the, the website in addition to like the shop. So with that is that it means that Facebook is testing two things. It's sending traffic to the website in addition to the Instagram shopping shopping feed, right? So where customers can just shop on the feed as opposed to going to the website, right? So that's what it's testing over here, right? And so since the inception, you know, we've you know we've gotten 17 purchases. Yeah, we're not we're not spending a whole lot on this one. First of all, let's look at the ROAS. It's 156 percent, right? And let's look at how much you're spending. 798 dollars, right? I mean that is kind of getting up in terms of the in in spend. Again, it's a test to see how it performs, right? Because we're always testing things, right? This, this is another advantage shopping campaign. You know, look at the return, 2.83, right? 283% return, uh, return on ad spend, right? 26 purchases in the last 30 days. So this campaign type really works. It works really well because again, it's heavily leveraged on the artificial intelligence, right? So you don't have much control over it. And so, some of the reasons why I think, some, you know, some of my philosophy is to, in terms of why this works so well is because although you don't have the interest, you don't have the option of targeting a specific interest, the, the AI, like or which the pixel, whatever you want to call it, it knows who to target based upon the criteria that you have on the eye, right? Let me give you an example. Say if you're a supplement company that sells vegan products, right, vegan protein, Right. So obviously within the ad that you deploy, you want to be as specific as possible in terms of who you're targeting. Right. So you want to have the right ad. So within your copy, you want to obviously call out your audiences, even within the, the creative that you're using. Right. They, sh they should have a sense of who the audience is. Right. And in addition to the landing page. Right. Facebook knows all of that. Right. When it can go to your landing page, it can index, you know, it can you know read the landing page, the text and the message that's on the landing page and identify, identify 
who it is that we're talking about. And so it uses all that information. Though the audience is broad, it uses that information to find exactly vegan people in the market space, right? And another thing that it leverages is that is the engagement uh, criteria, right? So based upon the people that are engaging with the product, which should be vegan individual, that's who would be interested in your product, right? The more the people that engage with the product, it has an idea of who to further target, right? If you know, a lot of people are, a lot of the vegan people, again, that's who should be you know, interacting with your ad, are interacting with the ad, then boom, it just knows further to target more of the vegan people that match this specific criteria, right? Hopefully that makes sense. You know, if you like this video, if you find this video to be super helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. See you guys in another video.